Mr. Chairman, uh, Madam Secretary, on March 6, 2024, the Committee on Judiciary and Select Committee of the Weaponization of the Federal Government uh, released a staff report on the financial surveillance in the United States. Have you had a chance to review that? I'm aware of it, but I um, haven't reviewed it in detail. Well, I would encourage you to read it because it's pretty appalling to the American people. Last week, Chairman Jordan sent you a letter regarding the financial surveillance without a warrant of American citizens. Uh, the date, uh, actually, let me go back. So, uh, Mr. Chairman, can I add that report to, I ask unanimous and consent to add that report to the record? Without objection. Uh, last week, April 24th, Chairman Jordan sent you a letter uh, regarding the financial surveillance without a warrant of American citizens. Are you in receipt of that letter? We are in receipt. Have you read it? Um, I've looked at it. You've looked at it? Does that mean you've read it? Or is yes. that? Okay. Um, do you intend to provide the committee with the SARS as requested in that letter? Um, we will respond to the committee. Are you going to provide the SARS as requested in the letter? Well, those reports are strictly confidential under the law, and I'm not prepared to discuss any one particular. I'm just asking public. if you're going to comply with the letter that Chairman Jordan, that has oversight over uh, your department and the cabinet, if you're going to comply with the letter. We will respond to the letter, and I don't really have more to say about that. Under the Biden Secrecy Act, the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, an agency under your control at the Department of Treasury, receives vast amounts of data covering millions of financial transactions involving everyday Americans. Is that correct? Uh, through FinCEN receives re reports. And is it correct that FinCEN received 20.6 million currency transaction reports in 2022? I'm not sure. It could be. Could be roughly more or less. I, I don't know the number. But you would agree that it's millions of reports. Probably yes. It's also true that FinCEN received 4. million, 4.3 million suspicious activity reports in 2022, which was nearly double the amount received by the agency in 2029. I, I don't know. You don't know at all, even though I it's don't know if they received double the previous year. I really don't know. So would you? But SARS typically gets millions of reports. You would agree with that? Yeah, statement? I don't know if it doubled though. Okay. Well, I, we, I'm, I'm sure your staff can provide you with that information. I'm it's sure they can. Agency under your. So you you don't know, is what you're telling me. I could look into it, but I don't happen to know. Okay. Doesn't the data in these reports include important and sensitive private financial data? Well, these are, pri these are private data only available to law enforcement. But it includes data of American citizens. They're private financial data, correct? Well, on transactions that are regarded as suspicious. And they're data, and potentially correct. illegal. The sensitive personal financial data included in this report is held in a database, correct? Yes. Neither FinCEN nor any federal law enforcement agencies needs to get a warrant to access this private, private financial data. Is that correct? I don't think you need to get a warrant, but it's only shared subject to strict confidentiality. But you don't need to get a warrant? Not to the best of my knowledge. Are you aware that in 2021, FinCEN emailed financial institutions suggesting search terms including, and I quote, America first, quote, Trump, and MAGA to use an identifying transaction that may indicate, and I quote, involvement in riots or potential violence. This is activity that took place under the previous administration, not under the Biden administration, in close proximity. No, this is 2021. Right? This is? 2021. This is before the um, pr President Biden's inauguration. No, it's after. And after January 6th. And it was, there was concern about potential disruption of his inaugural. And FinCEN worked as it's, as it's instructed to do with financial institutions to try to uncover um, who was involved in January so are you So are you aware of the finance, FinCEN emailing the financial institutions with those search terms? I am now aware that there were communications that took place. In some cases, I believe financial institutions suggested to this group search terms they had used that had been helpful in identifying potential um, perpetrators of January 6th. 
FinCEN and also worked with the FBI in early 2021 to determine certain transaction thresholds for SARS. These include certain weapons-related transactions. Do you know how many SARS were filed as a result of the FBI and FinCEN's coordination at that time? No. I, the only reason that we, I believe that weapons were involved, it, it's never a search term used on its own that results in anything. It's a way of um, trying to um, narrow the scope of search for individuals who, based on other, ind other information available to the financial institution, may have been guilty of illegal behavior. Without a warrant. Uh, Mr. You. Chairman, I ask that the letter from Chairman Jordan to Secretary Yellen dated April 24th is added to the record. Without objection. Ms. Fishbach. Uh, 